What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. One of the biggest fights that can be made in the sport of boxing is Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. The problem with this fight actually coming to fruition is the political divisions in the sport of boxing, propaganda, and smoking mirrors. All rolled into one. That's why this fight's not going to happen. I just got through watching an interview by the promoter of Ryan Garcia, Oscar De La Hoya. He got on fight hype saying that they're willing to do the fight 50-50 with the zone and showtime involved. That's what Oscar De La Hoya said. Now, the interviewer, I give him credit for saying, hold up, man, how you going to do a 50-50 deal when you got the lesser-known fighter? You got the fighter that's producing the lesser numbers. Oscar De La Hoya said, oh, I got an answer for that. We can do 40-40 and the winner gets to 20%. We can do it like that then. Like that was going to solve the problem. The guy was telling you, hey man, he don't deserve to be getting no 50-50. He don't deserve to get no 40-40 and the winner get 20. He's a B-side. Tank is the A-side. That's basically what the interviewer was trying to tell De La Hoya, but De La Hoya wasn't having it. De La Hoya was in straight propaganda mode. De La Hoya was with the smoke and mirrors. De La Hoya was all cap. De La Hoya ain't trying to make Tank versus Ryan Garcia. You know that Ryan Garcia definitely wants that fight, so he's going to make it look like he want to make the fight, but in all actuality, he don't want to make the fight. He's trying to make Ryan Garcia versus Jojo Diaz for November. Now, he threw that month out as a, a potential date for Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis, knowing that Tank Davis already has a date for December on Showtime pay-per-view. Oscar De La Hoya knows this. Oscar De La Hoya is the king of cap. Ain't trying to make the fight. Just like he wasn't trying to make McGill versus Charlo. He threw a monkey rich in that fight and killed that fight. That's why boxing is a niche sport. This is one of the many reasons why boxing is a niche sport, ladies and gentlemen. You got people like Oscar De La Hoya that they don't want to speak the real. They don't want to tell people what they might not want to hear. They want to smile in their face all the time. They want to take their place. Backstabber. You know what I'm saying? Backstabbing Ryan Garcia. He's not trying to help you make the fight, Ryan Garcia. The quicker you come to, to, to that conclusion, the better off you'll be, King Ryan. Let's see what happens. Let's see what transpires. But let's tell you what the likely scenario is going to be. Ryan Garcia obviously has a fight lined up, locked and loaded with Javier Fortuna. That fight's going down July 16th, Crypto.com Arena, L.A. That's where that fight's happening at. Now, Javante got a fight in December. Now, he don't have an opponent locked down, but it's been a lot of rumors that go around that uh, Isaac Cruz is going to be the fight. They're going to do the rematch in December. If that's the case, cool, you know. Like I said, uh, Javante Tank Davis has shown to be a pay-per-view attraction. He is an attraction. Really, no matter who he's fighting, you know, people coming out to see him. He is the Mike Tyson of the lightweight division. He actually is a combination of Mike Tyson and Floyd Mayweather Jr. He's got the technical and boxing ability of Oscar De La Hoya, and he got the punching power of, of Mike Tyson. And that makes for uh, attraction in the sport of boxing. Ladies and gentlemen, with all that being said, Ryan Garcia will take on Javier Fortuna in July, and he will take on Jojo Diaz Ooh, yeah, in November. And both fights will be on the zone. Javante is fighting on Showtime pay-per-view. Maybe in 2023, maybe that fight will become a little bit more realistic. But as far as 2022, the fight's not happening. Hardcore boxing fans, do not get your hopes up once again. You get your hopes dashed like they was with A.J. Wilder, like they was with A.J. Fury. And like we seem to be heading down that same road with Spence and Crawford, hopefully... That fight gets done, but I'm not optimistic. I'm more pessimistic that that fight actually comes to fruition. But the bottom line is Oscar De La Hoya, who runs Golden Boy Promotion, is Fugazi, ladies and gentlemen. He's not speaking the real. He knows he's not trying to make the fight. He knows when the other beat told him and to put him on front street saying they tried to make the fight twice, that, but that Golden Boy Promotions, led by Oscar De La Hoya and his right-hand man, Eric Gomez, do not want to make that fight as of right now. As of 2022, actually, they got Ryan Garcia's roadmap already mapped out for 2022, and that's again Javier Fortuna in July and Jojo Diaz in November. 
we will see what happens and we will see what transpires. Let me know your thoughts about Oscar De La Hoya coming out here on a fight hype interview saying that he's more than willing to make Ryan Garcia versus Tank. But the caveat being that it must be a 50-50 deal and it also must be a collaboration between the zone and Showtime. Steven Espinosa, who speaks to real, said that he don't see why the zone needs to be involved. The zone is not a big platform. The zone is a small time app is basically what Steven Espinosa said. And he says he doesn't see any reason why this fight of this magnitude need to be split five ways. The fight is not Wilder Fury. The fight is not Mayweather Pacquiao. So the fight has no business being a joint pay-per-view. It's not that big. It's big, but it's not on the scale of those two fights that I've mentioned, that I have four mentioned. That being Wilder Fury and Pacquiao Mayweather. We will see what happens. And we will see what transpires. Let me know your thoughts about the comments Oscar De La Hale made on Fight Hype. Do you believe that he's actually you know, trying to make the fight? Or do you believe, like I believe, that he's all cap and he's just trying to make it look like to his star fighter that he's actually trying to make a fight that he really don't want to make. But he's trying to make it look like to him that he's on board with making that fight. But he's throwing all kind of obstacles in the way of preventing that fight from actually coming to fruition. Let me know your thoughts. Follow me on Facebook, Gerard.Briscoe.3551. Like, share, and subscribe to JB Sports. The man, the myth, the legend. And I holler.